Breaking news, out of New Jersey, there's been another assassination attempt on my channel. The Canon R5 being released as the perfect camera, trying to end my existence as I know it. I've given Canon a bit of a hard time, and they're retaliating. They're retaliating hard. It's the equivalent of your uncle holding your head down to a plate of food, and you're trying to resist it. You don't know what's gonna happen, don't Your uncle didn't do that. I have a bad family. So this is a development announcement. The Canon R5, it's coming, and that tells me that Canon knows. They know what's coming. The Fuji X-T4 is on its way. The Sony A7S 9 might come in 30 years. They're getting prepared. They're making this announcement to say, hey, well, well, over here, we're doing stuff. 8K, you need that. You need that in your life. So let's talk about, is this the perfect camera? Will it beat the Fuji X-T4? Can Sony retaliate? What the hell did Nikon just release? Why is Olympus still in business? We got a lot to talk about. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I put a blue light behind the hawk. I'm a YouTuber now. I got a comment the other day saying I should put my light on that side for some reason. I don't remember why he said it, but let's do it. Let's see. Look, you're the expert, not me. I hate it. Why is the shadows? You created more shadows and they're less flattering. Oh no. Let me know down below if he was wrong. I can see the shadow here. That's basic bitch. That's basic bitch technology. That's bad. This is bad. So there's actually less details now than what we already had in the rumor, but we have to assume some of those rumored facts no longer the truth. So they would have been announced. If they had 4K 120p, that would have been in there. In fact, we know nothing about, we, all we know is it has 8K, which nobody really needs or wants. We know nothing about the 4K. Is it 4K 60? Is it 10 bit? We got 120p in there, I doubt it. Can it autofocus? Is there a crop? We know nothing. We know less now than we did before. I already made that more informed video three weeks ago. What the hell happened? But if it's true, they're putting 8K video in, you imagine the 4K is gonna be decent in body stabilization, coupled with lens and digital, might be the smoothest thing we've ever seen. Could be the perfect camera. It appears that the Canon Cripple Hammer has been weakened. That's, that's pathetic. That, wow, didn't see that one coming. You, you should have, oh God. Oh, uh, what, what is this? Is it mind control? Okay, Kenan is our leader. Bye Kenan. Save yourself, Sony is bad. They want to harm your children. The cripple hammer still has bite. You, you don't underestimate the size is deceiving. No matter how, the smaller they get, the more dense they are. It's like a neutron star, the power unwieldable. Don't even try it. I don't know why, but I have a feeling this IBIS is gonna be really good. Like, really good. Canon doesn't play around. When they release a feature, it works. If they're not like Sony, like, we can do 4K oversampled. Oh wow, that's hot. That's a hot camera. We can fry an egg on it. That's in the menu. It's on the 17th page of the fourth tier of your menu system designed by Nikola Tesla's niece. When it comes to the IBIS, Canon has that large mount, and I'm just theorizing. Sony's tiny mount doesn't allow the sensor to move much, but their APS-C sensor is much smaller. It fits perfectly fine in that mount. It still sucks. Sony APS-C stabilization worse than Panasonic full frame stabilization and Nikon. I have to believe that either Sony doesn't know what they're doing when it comes to IBIS or they're not willing to put anything heavy in their camera that's actually usable. Their current IBIS system is just cheese strings and they do melt, but you can eat them and get heart disease. So in theory, Canon with their large mount and the fact we know that they perfect things, once it's in their camera, they've perfected it, kind of, that's not even true. Their 4K is terrible. Most of their things suck. Don't listen to me, I don't know what I'm doing. But if, if it's good, I think Canon's tired of being the laughing stock. I think they've seen this cripple hammer and the damage it's wreaked upon towns in the village, towns in a village, what the f You know their executives have seen it, the cripple hammer's spreading like wildfire. And at first, I bet they were like, oh, look at that. 
He's still going. Oh boy, that's catching on. Oh, we're a laughing stock. We cripple our hell. Oh, they know it. Oh, they know it now. There's even a, a mascot for it. Oh boy. So I think Kenan is releasing this camera as an attack against the cripple hammer. Who will win that battle? The cripple hammer hasn't been defeated. The funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Please go watch this video by the everything man. <laughs> His, the cripple hammer came in to visit him. Funniest thing I've ever seen. It was much better than anything I've ever done with it. Things floating around. <laughs> Fucking voodoo shit. Very hilarious, my friend. But being realistic here, I'm imagining a slightly worse level of full frame Panasonic stabilization, but coupled with better electronic stabilization and lens stab. Stab. The trifecta system, this lighting. That's all I can think about. Is that all you can think about? This sucks. Let's move it. It was better over there. So the trifecta blend of in-body, lens, digital might be something to wow us with. It'll still be a crop, so you can't say full frame, can you? You will. Now when it comes to 8K, what NASA built computer designed to lie about the shape of our Earth could even play these files? 8K? I struggle hard to edit 1080p in that H.265, you know this is gonna be like H.266. I was gonna switch to DaVinci Resolve because Premiere Pro, I couldn't play the H.26 files in it. So I could in DaVinci Resolve. They don't actually play though, at least in my free version. I'm still waiting on the back order. Henry's, I can't even imagine the technology needed to play the file and edit it. Why, we're not there yet. Canon, this is a bragging rights move with zero purpose. And we have to realize for sure it won't have autofocus and maybe something else weird. Like there's no way it's just gonna be, oh, we can record unlimited 8K 30P. There's gonna be no 24P, just 8K 30P. And I thought like, oh, huge crop, but apparently the math nerds have let us know you need a certain amount of megapixels. I'll megapixel your mom. Just keep that shit to yourself, nerds. Just let us have our fun. Sure, we don't know what we're talking about. We, we make by, make do. See, I get by. I don't have to know English or anything. Current events, I'm not on top. Donald Trump, he's my friend. <laughs> what I don't appreciate is that Canon's talking as if this is for photographers, this whole camera. They're mentioning mostly photograph photographer graphic features. These new photography tools will help. Camera will provide photographers with more efficient workflows. What about the video shooters that matter? It sounds like they're 8K, they're more pushing it for photographers to take still grabs from the, it's not even a video thing. There's gonna be no audio, maybe no power to the camera. It's funny, all I really want from this camera is that 1080p to be oversampled from 8K into a 1080p of the gods, 400 megabits per second the best 1080p we ever seen. I don't mind if the 4K is double sampled down from a crop, double crop down to the full image of the no crop footage. Crop circles over here. I want improved dual pixel autofocus because it's a little shady in the Canon R. It's a little shady. It's noticeable. In here, you don't notice it. There's nothing going, my light's off. What the flying piece of shit. Pocket light F7 only lasts like a month. A month of continuous footage. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. You know what I really want? Forget all this 8K and the specs. I want some fun. I want some fun. I want new profiles that are like, oh, we got the old timey one with the black line. That, like old film, like, oh, look, here's eight millimeter film. Fun things like that. Here's teal and orange. You're Hollywood now, congratulations. Little thing, oh, you're on Mars now. Something. My ideas aren't great, admittedly. Just fun modes like that, little circular fisheye effects around little planet. Ooh, something special, underwater effect. It looks real, like we're underwater. It's like, wow, how is he breathing? Something like that, fun. Where's the fun factor six? And I hope that flippy screen is big and dotted. Highly dotted, 2.6, maybe 3 million dots. 
But honestly, I think I'm more excited about the R6 that was rumored. Lesser specs, but it seemed more reasonable, like it won't cost $40,000. We have no idea what this thing's gonna cost or what it's actually gonna have, but it looks impressive. It looks like Canon's actually starting to try and they already got the lens lineup. I'd be nervous if I was other companies because Canon already has the name and now they're actually trying? That's scary. That's like when a champion actually tries. Be weary of that man. When John Jones actually tries to kill someone, he does it. So I think we're done. We'll make another video laughing at Nikon and their D6 and whatever else I said at the beginning of the video that I didn't get to today. That's fine. That's good times. So we're done. Thank you for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Let me know down below. Canon R5, is it the perfect camera? What mystery things are gonna be hidden? Will the Canon Cripple Hammer regain strength and fight back? Those are the tales to see. All right, we're done. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.